Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Vetsoli TV, Late Night with Ivan Olita. Today I'm really happy to be here because not only we are at Plastic Milano, one of the most amazing clubs in the whole world, but we also do have as a guest one of the most prominent artists living on this planet. But before that, before introducing him to you, I want to first put our hands together for our incredible helper, Diet. Vienna, how are you today? Are you excited to have with us our guest? Yes, I do, I am too. So, allow me to introduce you, Mr. Francesco Vezzoli. Thank you for being with us today, Mr. Vezzoli. How are you doing? Busy. Right, as usual, I guess. Busy with you now. But what do you do usually to be busy? Because no one really understands. Your life seems so glamorous and uh, vain. No, my life is not glamorous at all. I spend most of my time in bed watching trashy television and doing phone calls. And I think uh, my greatest achievement would be to spend even more time in bed or doing nothing or watching television. Really powerful people do nothing. They just do phone calls. They just do phone calls <laughs> and, th and threaten people. And that's it. I want to start, so we have to call Vienna and she's going to give us the first question. Are you ready? I'm ready. Please, Vienna. <laughs> Thank you, Vienna. Here you are. You just said you spend a lot of time in bed. How do you entertain yourself when you are in bed? Uh, with television, uh, laptop, or human beings. <laughs> and which kind of human beings do you prefer usually? Um, I am not very selective. Tall, short, blonde, <laughs> dark, dark, I prefer dark. Dark human beings? Dark human beings, yes. I, I guess you're talking about their physical appearance. No, about their souls. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, so that <laughs> means you have a dark sexuality. No, they have a dark sexuality. And you just dig a little bit into their sexuality to get a little bit of this darkness. I'm their washing machine. They use me to clean them up. And how are you able to clean negative energies then? Uh, I have a lot of positive energy. So do you think that your work somehow also cleans up the energy from the Hollywood system that you often relate to? You can clean up other people's negative energy only if you spend a lot of time in places where there is positive energy. That's why I come to plastic. <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. And that's, and that's why your bed is also a place with positive energy, I guess. Yes, I have a very big bed. It's actually two queen-size beds merged together, which makes a double queen-size bed, which well. kind of fits me. And uh, it's an unreal size, but it can fit three or four people, you know. And I'm, I'm not into orgies. I'm, I'm just into a community. But do you think they're attracted by your public persona or do they just come into your bed for other reasons? No, I think this is an act of uh, utmost vanity. I hope they don't know anything about my public persona. So you just, you I, just hope I, that I, they're I, there? I, 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 I'm so stupid. I hope they are attracted by me for as if uh, just by me, which of course is uh, the, the highest uh, high of act of vanity because everybody, a, anyone in the world, assumes he's attractive not only for the, what, the way he looks, but for what he does or whatever else. In my case, you know, I, I, anonymity is a, is, a, is a tool of the game. But this is pretty interesting because in your work you do use a, a lot of um, celebrities yes. and people from the Hollywood industry. So one person maybe would think that you do that in order to um, create a persona that then would resonate with other people that then would like this persona that you have created. But it seems that in your private life you don't really go for that, you no, go for another I, thing. I'm the opposite of a star fucker, to be technically speaking. Okay. I like to fuck with people that are not stars. Very normal people. Very normal people. This is your, your taste. The more normal, the more exciting. And stars just for your performative work. Absolutely. I don't want to be friends with my actors. I don't want to sleep with them. I don't want to. It's too dangerous. It's too complicated. 
is too narcissistic, uh, and it's a form of uh, is a lack of respect. I want my stars just for their public identity because it's a. I'm like an anthropologist. I'm like a professor. I'm studying. Uh, I'm not even interested in them for who they are. I'm interested in them for the reaction they create among other people. Well, Francesco, we are going to then end up this responsibility, but it was such a pleasure to have you here with us. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank and you. I hope to see you soon. And we are going to see you tomorrow here at Vezzoli TV, late night with Ivano Lita. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.